Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY, and on today's episode, we're gonna see what this Gunson color tune is all about, so stay tuned. Now before we get started, you guys can probably see here on the side, this is the 998, the early 998 block and head back from the machine shop, all cleaned up, new exhaust and intake valves, and lots and lots of tidying up, even with the period specific core plugs on it. This thing's gonna come together really nicely. I'll have more episodes about that in the future, but I knew that you guys would probably see that in the background. And I just wanted to get ahead of the comments. This thing's coming, we're getting into it soon but not quite there yet. Now, what is the Gunson color tune? Well, this is supposed to be one of the easiest ways you can tune a car. Usually it's related to carbureted motors. I imagine you probably could use it with an injection system, but most fuel injected cars have some form of like wide band sensor that figures how much fuel is in the exhaust and how much air there is, and it kind of automatically will adjust itself. That's kind of the benefit of a fuel injected engine. Now, for those of us with carbureted engines, this color tune is is supposed to be really easy to use. Basically the way it works is you insert a special spark plug that comes with the kit and then you can actually see through it. And when the explosion is yellow, that says that the air fuel mixture is incorrect. But once it turns blue, that's when you know that it's the correct mixture and everything's running properly and it's in tune and all is wonderful. Now I've had a few recommendations about this. I sent a few messages to Gunson. They never got back to me. So I ended up just going ahead and picking this up for myself to see how well it works. But if you guys are interested in picking up one, I did include the links in the description below. So if you wanted to pick one up, help the channel out, those links will help me out. Now, let's jump over to the bench real quick and go over the things that come in the kit so you know what you're working with. Now, the kit for this is actually pretty simple. You have a special spark plug lead that is this right here. And this is the clear part that you'll be able to see through and see the explosion inside your cylinder when you're testing this out. So that goes where your spark plug normally would. You have an extension that gets screwed on here so that you don't have the lead in the way. So that gets screwed on like that. And then you kind of hang your normal spark plug lead off the end of this extension here, which is slightly flexible. Now it does also come with a little cleaning brush so you can kind of clean things off and make it easier for you to see things. You have a little copper seal here that would go around this to seal onto the uh, cylinder head. And then you have a viewing scope, um, which is supposed to make it easier for you to see the explosion and see the color that's down in your cylinder. For our minis, it's gonna be pretty easy because the spark plugs are like right on top of the car, which is great. Now, even though I have dual carbs, I only picked up one of these kits. If you guys have dual carbs, it's going to make it considerably easier for you to actually tune and synchronize those. I'm gonna to have to do I'm gonna have to do kind of like a multi-step process, but if you had two sets of these, you could install two, one on each side so you can tune each carburetor and synchronize them much more easily. In my case, I'm gonna have to do one side and then go over to the other, switch them out and synchronize it that way. The only other thing that I wanna mention out of this kit here is that it also comes with this little adapter here. So this goes over your Gunson Easy Tune, and then you put your normal spark plug socket right over the top of this so you can actually screw this in. So let's jump out to the car. The first thing we need to do is get the car up to operating temperature um, so that we're getting a good reading on the air to fuel mixture. Now, first up, we're gonna need to get the car to operating temperature. So I'm gonna jump in and start her up real quick. All right, so with the engine now at operating temperature, what we're gonna be doing is testing the fuel mixture on each side of your kind of flow system here in the engine. If you have a single carburetor, you can pretty much pick either of these two center spark plugs, switch it out for the color tune, and you'll be able to test the mixture as all of the fuel is going to be coming to all of the cylinders from that single carb. Now, if you have dual carbs, it's a little bit different because the way that the flow works is it's split. These two cylinders right here, one and two, get the air fuel mixture from this carburetor and then three and four get it from this carburetor. This is what I was talking about when I was mentioning synchronizing the carburetors because you want your carburetors to have the same amount of fueling on each side of your engine into all of the cylinders. You want it uniform. That's gonna make your 
your engine run the best. Now let's get started with cylinder four and three. What I would recommend is picking the two center spark plugs. So we'll start with this carburetor and cylinder three. So let's pop this off. Now keep in mind that stuff's probably gonna be hot. And Gunson actually says specifically that this can go on basically finger tight. Um, it does not need to go on gorilla tight into this head because it should make an adequate seal with just your fingers tightening this down. It has this cool, it has this little adapter here so you can slide that over it and it'll help you screw that in and get it nice and tight. All right, so that is adequately tight on there and as you can see, it looks a lot different than your normal spark plug. You're gonna take this lead extension right here. You're gonna screw that onto the lead on your color tune. And then with this lead here, you're basically just gonna make sure that it's getting metal contact there. This is not gonna sit on there really tight. You just want all of the metal lead in here to contact so it actually fires inside that cylinder. So let's get closer up to this color tune here so you guys can see what the color looks like. All right, and so with the camera set up now, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and you're gonna wanna look around the ring of this color tune right here to see what color this is gonna be while it's idling. Now, when you're looking at this, if it's firing yellow like it is right now, what that means is that the air fuel mixture has too much fuel, too much petrol in it, which means it's running rich. And the way that you wanna weaken that is by adjusting your carburetor. And there's a small adjustment screw on the bottom side of your carburetor. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it will make it leaner. If you turn it clockwise, as seen from above, it'll make it richer. So let's turn that down a little bit and make it leaner. All right, so what you guys can see there is it's still running a little rich at idle. However, at the throttle load, it's coming down and coming into the blue section. So let's run it up and you'll see. So I'm a fan of the way that that looks right now. So let's turn this back off and move to the next cylinder. All right, so now we have that attached. Let's start her back up and see what this one looks like. So this side is looking rich as well, but not excessively rich. Um, however, when it's under load, it looks like we're getting a little yellow in the top end, which could be related to the needle, but it could and likely is also related to the fuel mixture. So I'm gonna lean it out just a little bit and we'll see how this looks. All right, and so that is looking good now. Um, we have a little bit more blue at idle. Um, which makes me wonder a little bit about the way that the needles are set up. However, things are much more synchronized now than they were before. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this side of the engine. Let me jump over to the carburetor so I can give you guys just a little bit of a look on the adjustment screw on these SU carburetors so you guys know what you're looking for up there. All right, so this is probably gonna be the best view I can get you of that adjustment screw. All right, so what you're looking at here is the adjustment screw on the bottom of the SU carburetor. And what I was talking about before is when you're turning it anti-clockwise, as seen when you're looking down at the carburetor, it will make the mixture leaner, meaning less fuel and more air in your mixture. If you turn it the opposite direction and go clockwise, it's going to make it richer, more fuel, less air. But let's head back inside and kind of wrap this up. All right, so that really wraps up this episode. This Gunson color tune is really cool. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of this. I think that this is gonna be really helpful. Um, for those of you who don't have wideband sensors like uh, air fuel mixture sensors in your exhaust system, um, this is going to be a really great way to get visual feedback on how to tune and get your engine running the way it needs to be running. Now I think there's still a little bit of funny business with my engine. I've got some different needles in it that I was trying and I might end up going back to more of a stock needle to see if I get a little bit more gradual and uniform burn through the whole flow of that engine. Right now it does run a little rich at idle. However, it seems to be right where I want it when you are under load or under acceleration. So I'd love to get your feedback on this. I'm not an expert at this stuff, so I'd love to hear some feedback. Maybe you guys have some suggestions after seeing the results 
results from this color tune. But overall, great tool. Definitely would recommend this. Again, if you guys wanna pick this up, there are links in the description depending on where you are in the world. So you can pick this up for your car if you want to use it to tune your carburetor. But that wraps up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next episode, enjoy those minis and motor on.